Hi, I'm Kristen. I'm Ashley. And we are the co-owners of Uprooted Flower Truck. And I'm Chris. I'm from Vending Trucks Incorporated. And I'm here to, uh, to talk to Kristen and Ashley about their truck. Um, uh, we custom fabricated it for them. So I just have a couple of questions I wanted to ask you. Um, first off, uh, well, you mentioned it before, but what is the truck's name again? Uprooted Flower Truck. Okay, great, great. Um, and where will it be located? Do you have a location in place at this point? We'll be in New York City. Um, so we'll be starting on the streets um, in the New York City area. We'll be sometimes at the Brooklyn Flea, sometimes at Long Island City Flea. And then we'll basically create a rotating schedule, parking different areas. We'll have a spot in the West Village, a spot in the Upper East Side, Upper West, probably one in Tribeca, and then Park Slope or Williamsburg for like a five-day rotation and then fleas on the weekends. Excellent, excellent. So you're, you're definitely hitting all the areas. That's great. Yeah. Are you, um, are you looking to expand or just keep it tight in that area? Um, we'd love to expand. I think we're, this is kind of our trial truck, so we're going to okay. see how this goes, and we'd love to... The dream is to franchise, so that's what we're heading towards. So hopefully even like multiple trucks around Manhattan and Brooklyn and Queens and even the Bronx and hey, why not? if that happens and then even maybe franchise in other cities if other cities are, you know, wanting the same things that New York City wants in terms of flowers. That's great. Sky's the limit. You never know how far it's going to go and you have to test it out once just to see what's yep. going to happen. And it looks like it's going to be going well from what I can see so far. Um, so what is the story behind your truck? Uh, how did you get? How did you get into this uh, industry, or how did the idea come about? Any funny stories? Yeah, um, me. I worked at a florist with my first job when I was fourteen. Um, so I just started working, and then through college, I worked during the holidays, during the seasons, um, and I just kept coming back to it. And when we moved to New York for Kristen, um, who was starting grad school, I got a job at a florist and just found in New York the only options were bodega flowers um, or a florist and there wasn't sort of a middle ground. Um, I wanted to provide flowers on the go for people that were designed and in bouquets, um, using quality flowers, um, but making it a little bit more accessible for people, more affordable, um, easy to transport. Uh, we have bags that kind of makes it a little bit easier for people to with a take handle on the and with a handle on the top and water in the bottom so that they stay fresh. The problem is like with bodegas, they're not necessarily packaging it, so the flowers are going to get home as safely and florists ultimately end up being expensive because they have to have a storefront and because they have to keep so many flowers in stock. So by sort of like creating a miniature florist, we can keep less flowers in stock and hopefully make everything more affordable and convenient for our customers. Excellent. So convenience, quality, and affordability. If that doesn't work, I don't know what will. No, that, that's great. That's, everybody wins in that case. Um, so, do you have an overall mission for the truck? Obviously, you're testing this out and you talked about potentially fr uh, franchising. Is there a mission other than selling flowers? Is there uh, something else behind it? Yeah, I mean, we call ourselves the florist minus the fuss. Um, so, the idea is to just simplify flowers, um, to kind of take the stress out of the process of buying flowers and choosing flowers. So, we're, we're making the choices for you and making it easy for you. Ash always tells stories of people in the shops who are come in and really nervous, like what type of flower for this anniversary and how big should I get and like what's appropriate for this event and like could I get this collar and she says like it's just flowers, the point of them <laughs> is to enjoy them, why I feel so stressed out. So we just wanted to provide that kind of experience where people could browse from afar, check out what we have and approach and just choose one of our three sizes basically. We're going to have like a recipe of the day that's arranged into studio, loft, and penthouse sizes. So people are basically just choosing what size they want rather than obsessing over like I want three lilies and four roses and is that all going to be well composed? It'll be pre-composed, New York convenient and where where they want to have them. So we're hoping to be by being in main transit hubs and identifying areas in the city that don't have a lot of florists. We're hoping to kind of target areas that people need flowers and are passing by but don't necessarily have a place to, to purchase them. Okay, great. Well, it sounds like the concept of keeping it simple is definitely going to help people like me because I'm one of those people <laughs> that struggle. I walk in, I'm lost. What I don't know color? what I'm looking at, what color, what size. What... So that's good. That's definitely going to help, yeah. uh, you know, people like me. So. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully. Uh, well, hopefully. That's right. That's right. Um, so you had your, your truck fabricated at vending trucks. Um, obviously, the fabrication process is, is um, somewhat of a long process. It's, it's not an overnight thing. So. Uh, how was the overall uh, process from start to finish? Um, overall, so we actually started out 
I had initially um, was going to go through another contractor and was really disappointed with my experience there. Um, and it was just night and day coming here. Uh, I feel like all of my questions are answered. I can send, I mean, you know, I've sent you quite a few emails with <laughs> very funny questions and you've answered all of them very quickly. Um, and it, it just been a lot more hand holding, which I think we both needed for our first yeah. business out of something that sort of doesn't exist. You know, this is kind of like a new model. Um, so going to vending trucks, it was just sort of a sigh of relief for me because I felt like we were in good hands. I felt like I could leave the truck and I know we'd come here today and pick it up and it would be done the right way versus not knowing what you're getting. Um, so I definitely feel informed the whole during the whole process, which was great. Great. I'm glad that you felt comfortable and you know that the, going to the mobile industry in anything, whether it's flowers or food or whatever it may be, there are definitely question marks that most people have going into it for the first time. Right. So that's what we're here for. Here to guide you. I'm glad that it was a positive was experience good. for you. Yeah, it's nice to just be confident, know that it's going to come out great. Yeah. <laughs> that would be very, very good. No, I'm glad. Um, well, is there anything uh, overall that you'd like to mention about you, yourselves, the uh, the truck itself, the business, anything at all? Yeah, um, you can find us. Um, our website is uprootedflowertruck.com. Um, also on Twitter, Instagram, all the social media, it's at uprootednyc. Um, so we'll have all our daily locations there, um, as well as where you can find us on the weekends and things like that. Excellent, excellent. Well, thanks so much for this interview. I'm glad that you guys are excited about your truck. We're excited to, to get this truck to you, and, <laughs> and we're going to be seeing you, I'm sure, in every city in the United States eventually, right? Wow. So looking Hope forward so. to it. We're looking forward to it. But thanks for sitting down with us, and uh, we'll definitely talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you.